But next week, Thursday, the Summer Festival shall be returning with a new mount and companion. And right now, I can showcase the new mount. At least display what it's going to look like. The Rune Board. It's pretty unique in its own right compared to any other mount. Most likely, we're going to be standing atop it like you would have with a skateboard. Albeit, this one will be hovering above the ground. It'd be pretty cool and it's a new concept. I don't believe you've had any others except perhaps your tennisers floating disc could be considered somewhat similar. The way you float on top of it as such. It's probably going to have the same animations flipping up like so with your space bar which is pretty neat and otherwise riding around on it with your legs like so and your character kind of balancing now as i've said before we've also heard that there's going to be a new companion but unfortunately we can't view what it's going to be able to do or even give us so much we can see is the tooltip and the powers it can go and use in combat so we know straight away it's a strike companion and it's going to have the powers of flame broiler serve him up and slice otherwise we have the summary fashion just here I swear we've had this in the game before. Personally, what I really like is the Eldrin Flash fashion. I believe we've had this last year. I just never really played the Summer Festival last year and never got this stuff. You'll still be able to obtain like your ward or horse. Otherwise, a bunch more fashion items here, most of which I'm not a real fan. You can even quite amusingly get a bunch of balloons that can just hover above your head the main thing you will do within this summer festival is get these saha ticket balls you get one for free every day and essentially you'll have volleys what you will do is you'll all group up in a party so four others will be with you and you'll all kick a certain amount of saha balls together and then each character every day gets a saha ball so that can accumulate depending on how many characters you do it on and the main reward from the saha balls is the tickets and ultimately the fire blossom petals you can get some rarer rewards but the drop rates are so low i wouldn't worry about it too much but you can get the tennisers floating disc which is very similar to the one i'm riding here if not that exact one i believe there are a few different visuals for example this other tennisers floating disc which looks a little bit bigger is this one just here with the green tint to it now with those fire blossom petals during the event you'll be getting these pinatas and the way they will work is well first of all you'll want to like split them up so you don't have multiple all stacked together and then you go to use one of them you can see it goes on two minute cooldown that pops a pinata down and then you go and you simply kill your pinata and it'll drop you some food you can see all the buff food there and that's Generally what you're getting in this event as well is this buff food you're farming out like your squash soup, your watermelon and also your caprice. We can pop down another piñata and see what we obtain getting our loot and you can see again just caprice, watermelon and that squash soup. For me I believe squash soup is one of the best for healers and DPS with Caprice being one of the best for your tanks. So it's all around a very good event to get massive amounts of this event food. And you generally use this event to stock up for the year. Either stocking up yourself just for the year or stocking up enough that you can sell them then on the auction house to give to other players for it bit of astral diamonds in exchange now last year when mythic insignias became a thing you were able to use this event to farm those again those tickets through those saha balls and those silver tickets you would spend on buying purple insignias and there was one insignia in particular it's only cost you 40 tickets but now everything's going to be costing you 200 tickets as per the other insignia costs. That is a bit of a nerf compared to last year. Personally, again, I didn't do much of the Summer Festival, so I didn't actually get to experience that myself. Generally just been getting my insignias through the good old grind of Astral Diamonds, buying off the auction house, and otherwise using trade bars to get the insignias for the trade bar store. So aside from event food and I guess some insignias here and there, the Summer Festival is pretty much just cosmetics. And again, we can look forward to it 
in seven days. Again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all my channel members for the continued support. And if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.